Hi guys. Okay, so here is part two. And what you are going to need is your silver paint and a black paint. I have Shine of Silver and I always try to use this particular paint because it dries fast and it works beautifully and I just love it. So I'm just gonna lay out some of my paint and get my paintbrush. And we are just going to start covering these all in silver. Do not worry if you get some of your stone because we can clean that up. Make sure you get in between everything because you want to make sure your piece is very well coated. All right, set that down, let that dry. These pieces will dry quick if you are using this particular paint because this paint dries real nice and quick. I just wanna make sure that I'm getting in between each one of these little like teardrops or raindrops because there's like little hidden cavities there that sometimes you can easily miss. Okay, this one's basically dried, so I will start going on to the back now. Okay, I'm going to give that probably about, I would say, five minutes to dry before we put the black on. To do the black, I want to do like a dry brush, so to speak. So I am going to find my more stiff brush. Where are you? Okay, so I have my stiffer brush and I am just going to take my black paint and I am going to try to get most of that black off. I just want to get very little on here. And then I'm going to take it and just kind of go around my piece here and I'm not too worried about the color of my silver changing because I am going to go over each one of these little pieces again I just want to shadow and make certain areas pop out more so here I want to make sure that black gets right into those lines So I'm going to add a little bit more black than I am at the top because I want that black to get into those lines. And then I'm just going to brush it off. Okay, now I just want to once again make this where very little black is on here. Nope, yep, still too much. And I'm just going to go right in between those areas. Give it a nice shadow look. I'm going to go back into my silver and then just go over 
my little raindrops or teardrops. And I want to kind of get to my little dots as well. Okay, now I am just going to lightly go right over and kind of brush my silver over that, the ends, because I want some of the black to show, but I don't want all of it. So I just want to do like a nice little brush over it to kind of highlight the edge, because I don't want it to be so dark. I just mainly want that dark to be in those lines. And then just carefully do a little brush, a little wipe. I want this to have kind of like an old antique look to it. So you'll see, I'm just kind of scraping some of the silver off. So just a little bit of that black is going to pop through. So it almost has like a little tarnished look to it. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this. This is just the way that I personally know how to do it. But there's so many videos that you can look up to see if there's simpler ways. Now, if you took too much off of one area, you just put a little bit more paint back over there. And I want to definitely do another coat of silver on the back. And we can take a little bit of black and kind of just tarnish that up as well. I like to use my fingers for a lot of things. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna hang this up to dry. And then I'm gonna go on to my next part.
Okay, I'm gonna let everything dry and then we'll check it and see how it goes. All right, guys, so my pieces are completely dried and I am super happy with them. I think they look beautiful. They have like a nice antique look to them where they're not all just bright silver. They do have some of that shadowing going on. You can see with each piece how nice they are going to look. All right, so our next step is going to be to um, clean up our pieces. So I am going to get, I have a dull um, X-Acto knife that I like to use a lot of times. But you could use anything that is a little sharp to get to the edges. And I don't do my entire piece like this. I just get my edges because the little point here will get right in next to your noodle, which just makes it easier. Now I'm just going to get my little towel. I have a little bit of water on there and then I am just going to rub the paint off. The reason I use the scraper is because it's easier to get to the sides than using the towel. See if you got any little pieces that you can't get to very well. Sometimes they get into the little cracks of the stones. Okay, so check your piece. Make sure everything is exactly the way you want it. I did rub off a little bit of paint, so I'm going to just do a little tiny touch up there. So I am just going to take the tiniest bit that I have. Maybe. Oh. way too much paint and I'm just going to touch up the little areas very carefully that I kind of rubbed the paint off that I didn't want Okay, so while that dries, we're gonna get our chain ready. So what I did was I cut some chain out and I made it to 18 inches. And then I put on my little lobster claw clasp. And then I did the same thing. I cut this to 18 inches and then I put a little jump ring on, but I'm gonna show you how to Put these jump rings on and it's real simple so you just take your piece and you open it and you'll put your jump ring right onto your last little chain hook or your um, little piece of chain come on 
my piece is stuck there. There we go. Let me open this just a little wider. I think that's the problem. And I'm just going to place it onto my end piece. I'm going to close that up. The same thing on this one. And then I have two other jump rings that I will attach all my pieces to. Oops, these are small. There we go. Put that on there. We will add our second one. Close that. Okay guys, so here we go. Here is our gorgeous necklace. I mean, you wanna talk about a statement piece? This definitely is one. And remember, if you have bigger stones like this, you can really make a beautiful piece. It does not have to be a flat stone. You could use just about any stone to make a beautiful piece of jewelry. If you do decide to make this, Share it with me on my Facebook page. It's Share Bears Gifts, Palmer Clay Community. I love to see what you create. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.